Hello everybody, I'm Garrett from Garrett Outdoors and today I am restocking some of my fire supplies, specifically my tinder. And I've experimented with all sorts of different tinders, but I gotta say, honestly, my favorite is just cotton balls and petroleum jelly. So today I'm just building up a supply of cotton balls and petroleum jelly and I'm gonna show you how I do it, how I swab them and the containers I store them in. Check it out. All right, well, first off, I imagine everybody knows what the purpose of cotton balls and petroleum jelly is. If not, then here's a short little clip just to show you what it's all about. Cotton balls and petroleum jelly are one of the best fire tinders available, and they're super cheap. And the reason they are so good at what they do is because cotton takes a spark really well, and the petroleum jelly makes the fire last a lot longer. So, here we have one, a cotton ball, that has no petroleum jelly on it. It is just a cotton ball. And this one has petroleum jelly on it and worked in it. I will light this one first and then I'll light this one. And as you'll see, this one's going to burn longer than this one. Pick the wrong side. So as you can see, this one burned easily twice as long as this one. In fact, it took me a little bit of time to get this one lit because I had my hands over this fire. And then I actually relit this one from the fire on this one. And it's still going. So the petroleum jelly takes the cotton, which burns up real quick, and makes it into more of like a candle wick. And it just causes a nice, long, slow burn. And as you can see, it actually looks like it burns a little bit better as well. So cotton balls by themselves will work to get a fire started, but you'll have to use a bunch of them. Where on the other hand, if you put some petroleum jelly on it, one or two cotton balls will do the trick. All right, now that we got that covered, let me show you what I do. First, I got me a big old container of Equate Petroleum Jelly. And this thing I've had for years. Then I take a big old bag of cotton balls. One of my favorite things about the, the cotton balls and petroleum jelly not only is the fact that it works phenomenal and not only uh, it's insanely cheap, but you can compact these cotton balls into a tiny, tiny little space. They take up next to no space. So I'm sure I'll get more of these balls to fit in this container. In fact, I'll probably get more. So let's see. Take the cotton ball, and what I do is I just I kind of dig a little bit, so I get a good slathered amount. Hopefully that shows up on camera pretty good. And I just take it, and I put it petroleum side down into the container. And then I just repeat. And the petroleum on the bottom of the cotton ball coats the top of the petro uh, cotton ball on the other side. And that's ready to go. Toss that in your bag or your kit or your car or whatever. And uh, you got a ton of cotton balls ready to go. Another cool part of doing this is I get a little bit of petroleum jelly on my hands. I don't mind that. The petroleum jelly helps protect the skin against getting too dried out. And in fact, a little container with petroleum jelly on these cotton balls like this not only is great for a fire tinder uh, kit, but it also has a lot of medical uses, you know, for protecting a wound, uh, or putting on dog's feet in snow, or protecting chapped lips, uh, or hitting uh, hard skin on your, your feet or anything like that, softening that up. Petroleum jelly has quite a number of uses. It's a very versatile prepper product. But I got two more containers to go. If you're wondering, 
I started putting them in these containers because I had a bunch of them. I used to be a real avid coin collector, and now I got a ton of these containers just lying about. And uh, they, they're pretty durable, actually. I was afraid they were going to break, but uh, I've only broken a couple, and I've used tens and tens of these for different purposes other than coin collecting. So they're actually pretty strong, and they're pretty cheap online, too. There's a bird singing to me. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get this wrapped up and uh, restock my supplies. As always, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, hit me up in the comment box below, and I'll catch you guys next time.